If you can't get your Microsoft Teams to work, the easiest way to fix that problem after you've enabled it is to actually download the desktop application. If you haven't enabled Microsoft Teams for your environment, we'll click on the link below in the description area. I do have a video showing you exactly how to do this. For now, I'm going to show you after you actually enable it in your environment, I waited a long time and did not see the um, Microsoft Teams. I went to the website, still didn't see Teams. So if you actually go over to this site and download it, and let me get the site up for you, you're going to see teams.microsoft.com slash downloads. Once I downloaded the app, the desktop app for Windows, and I used this one, um, I was able to log in and start creating Teams. So what happens is you, you are prompted for your Microsoft work or um, school or student um, login. And then the next screen that you see is going to look like this. I didn't record it because I just went through the first time, but I do want to let you know you're going to start off by creating your first team. You give it a name, you give it a description, and notice if you already have um, Microsoft Groups, Office 365 Groups, you can connect your Office 365 Groups to your Microsoft Teams. So don't worry about that. That's the first question people were asking as we were starting. Um, but first you start there and then you move into creating your channels. So let's see what to that add looks members like. members to the group, the next screen I'm just going to type in my team. Of course, Beyonce is on my team. I'm going to go ahead and add her. Notice you can skip this step if you want to add people later. Um, after you add someone to the team, you can make them an owner or a member. I'm going to leave Beyonce as a member. Okay, like most of Microsoft's items nowadays, it does give you a little tutorial and telling you what you can do, basically using this as a collaborative space to chat one-on-one, -on -one, share files, notes, everything with your organization. Um, the part that I love is the video calls. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and click on next through these. When you get some time, you can go through there or play the video. Okay, let's talk about Microsoft Teams. Now, this is your workspace or your work area, and it has um, the ability you can add more people, create more channels, which we'll talk about. There's frequently asked questions, um, but there, I turned on bots. You have to have your admin turn on bots in your area. Bots are basically little robots that will help you through life of Microsoft and online um, and give you suggestions, okay? So we'll go over those. Before we go through the thing, the items on the side, I do want to bring out that at the top, this looks awfully similar to Office 365 Groups. You'll notice it has the file system, right? Share files in this channel. You can upload. You can create new. Same thing. SharePoint um, files, Office 365 Groups. Notes. This is OneNote. If you're not using OneNote, I would suggest you download it now or you start using it now. It is awesome, especially if you're a college student or if you conduct a lot of meetings or run projects. Notice that each of them has the option to edit in that native app. So if I click on this, it will open my OneNote. Um, I'm not going to do that now, but it will open my OneNote from my desktop. Okay. Um, if I click on this plus, the rest of Microsoft's magical kingdom is all listed here. So we have our normal things like Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. But notice we also have, of course, OneNote, SharePoint, um, Planner, which I love. If you are a checklist person into managing your task and seeing it written down and checked off, look into Planner. Power BI for the super duper nerds who like to analyze data. This is a great way to display data. Notice as I'm making changes, it is saving automatically in the right hand corner, even though I didn't do anything. But I'm just going to do this. It, just like Office 365, it's going to save as you're going. Okay. Um, you can insert different items, just like regular OneNote. So a lot of the features are online are the same. Let's go back to Teams. Right now I have one team. 
and then a channel, okay? Think of the channel as how you categorize or group your items that you're talking about. So maybe by topic. So let's just say um, you have a Microsoft Teams test. So you're actually testing the features of Microsoft. You may create one of the channels. I'm just gonna click on the dots here and say this is, let's say, feedback for the team. You could add a description. You might add a training channel. You can add a project management and tasks marketing, etc. So again, these are all different conversations that you're having within this team. Let me go back here. Again, think of teams. This can be by office. This be, can be by project team. This can be by project, by work group, by topic, by event. The main thing is you just want to figure out how you want to organize and then sub-organize items. I do want to bring out that it says downloads. I am on the desktop version, so if I click on that, um, it's just giving me other options to download into my on my phone or other versions of it. But um, that's what that downloads is. Um, at the bottom here, you'll start seeing the feed for this um, team. I'm going to go to general. Um, gen your general channel is made is created automatically. And you'll see that it shows as you add different people. So it showed when I added Beyonce, I can start a conversation. Okay. As we're going through here, these are features you could turn off. So don't, don't get alarmed if you don't have the office environment that allows you to use kind of these funny memes, but you do have emojis there's stickers in here there's memes this one's always appropriate right you can add a caption um i don't know I'm making up something right there's tons of different things in here okay i'm gonna hit enter You can attach files. What I love about this is this is going into um, this Microsoft Teams. You can actually select your team. So if I had multiple teams, uh, I would click it um, over here. Notice these are my channels. So you're putting it into the folders. So I'm gonna do project management. And I click on upload. Okay, and maybe I want to share my new Office 365 themes thumbnail. Okay, notice it's in line. There's also the meet now. I'm gonna come back to this in just a second, okay? But know that the meet now starts a Skype-like video on your desktop with this conversation. So as you have that conversation, it will be there in that thread. You're having a conversation around an actual topic or channel. Notice in your bottom left hand corner, you'll see a compose box. I was typing, when I clicked it again, it still kept my draft, but you can use rich text, which means you can bold, underline. Um, it's a little off, so when I highlight this, it doesn't look like I can go back, but if I press bold here, let's see. It has the highlight that I was trying to turn on earlier um, when I was playing. Um, and then, it, so it looks like basically um, your text is formatted going forward. It doesn't look like I can highlight and change anything. Okay, so this is a little clunky for me. I'm not liking this so far. Um, but you do have the options, changing the text color. Again, it didn't change it for me. There it goes. So it's a little touchy. 
You do have different sizes. It doesn't seem to have the normal headings that Microsoft has, but I'm hoping they're moving towards that. Again, it has the memes, emojis, and starting your meet now. Okay, I'm gonna delete this. Okay, let's go through the menu options over here. This is favorite. Um, so as you have tons of teams, because you know everyone's gonna end up creating a team, you want a favorite, so you can remove it from favorite, right? It's not there anymore. If I move it to favorite, it automatically pins it to the top, so you're actually seeing it under favorites, okay? You can view the teams, so that's who is involved in this. If you head over to channels, this is your channel maintenance, basically. So just like you can add um, your teams to favorites, you can add or remove your channel. So keep your eye on this side as I uncheck training, uncheck project management. You'll notice that just the feedback stays up there. You could also do this from this area here. I'm going to add these back. Unfortunately, you cannot uncheck your main one. This is the first one that you started with. Um, notice a couple of things. The first one that I added Beyonce to, she's in there. She's not automatically added to other channels within that team. So you can have private conversations with different team members based on how they work. You could also edit the channel. So this is the name and description. But just think of the workflow that you would use as far as um, separating each of these areas has its own notebooks, their own documents, their own file structure. So it's really just different um, projects within a project maybe. Okay, let's go to settings. You can change the picture. It does not automatically resize. So you want to pick something that is a square size when you select it, right? So you can go in here. I'm just going to select Office 365 and you'll see that it doesn't fit, right? I'm gonna also select news. This one was already a square and it fits fine. So you're not able to resize it. You wanna make sure it's a square image. Um, these are me member options. So you can decide whether your members can create new channels, if there's just one person to do it. If you want, if you uncheck these, I would at least make at least one other person a, an owner of the team, I wanna say group so bad, of the team, um, so if you're not there or not available, they can actually uh, manage this. I'm gonna check this, which says create, update, and delete connectors. Connectors are similar to what was in Office 365 groups like Twitter and Asana and things like that. Right below that is the feature settings. So this is very important. You wanna make sure that if you're in a group with a lot of people, you know that one person that re replies to all on, on emails, this is kind of like that. You can at the team. So that means if I do an at sign, it will send a notification to everyone on that team. Same thing with the channel. So this is deciding whether you want to allow that for your members of the group or not. The next thing is the stickers. I love them um, enabling the stickers and memes and you can uncheck whether um, you allow people to do that. The last one is the de developer tab. There's nothing in there um, right now and I don't have enough information on this, but there is a question mark. You could come here um, and I'm assuming they meant to take you to the developers tab, but right now there's nothing here, okay? Going up to the top again, I just wanna make sure that you see, this is where we are, we're at View Teams. This is the same menu that's on the left-hand side. Okay, you could leave a team if you're invited, edit the team if you can, and you could also delete the team. Okay, in your top left-hand corner, you can create a chat. So this chat is gonna be a private um, chat to someone, um, but, I wanted to show you Tbot. Again, you have to have this on in your admins area in order to see this, okay? I can start a chat and ask a question. Um, new team, let's ask the bot, how do you create a new team, right? The bot gave me the answer. How do I create a new team? Click 
create a team below your team list and follow the steps. And then you can vote. Glad you found that helpful. Okay, there's the help, which is awesome because it has all of the things, the getting started, all of that. The only thing I don't see here is that I don't see how I can edit or print it. Um, I know no one prints anymore, but certain things I do like to highlight and go through. There's a frequently asked questions, videos, which is the same videos that are on Microsoft site, and then release notes. Okay, so let's go back to Teams. And it said that you create a team in your bottom left-hand corner. It didn't say that specifically, but I'm telling you that. And this is the okay slay group we're going to use this as marketing now look it says add microsoft teams to an existing office 365 groups why yes i do want to do that so i'm going to choose and i think i removed my slay group which was my marketing i'm going to use my love group or actually let's do community management okay I'm going to choose that team it now connects it to an existing group so if you already have existing groups um, you don't have to worry about creating separate areas for this now I can't remember exactly what's in here so let me just check real quick now I have two separate groups so this is where I want to show you so I can remove this from favorites and it moves down right and you can actually collapse the groups that you have or the I'm um, sorry I keep on calling them groups the teams that you have or you can add that to the favorite and move it to the top. Okay, here you'll also see your overall activity. Um, so your notifications and then your recent um, conversations. Um, and actually, let me go here and just see something real quick. There we go. So um, I, I was clicked in, if you saw, I was clicked in this one, which I had nothing. I had to click in the specific channel and then go to activity, which I don't think is nice. It should be everything, but you're able to see the most recent activities. Okay, I think that's a great start for using Microsoft Teams and a great overview for just getting started. If you wanna learn more about the chatting features, about meetings, which is basically Skype inside um, of your desktop or your online, um, or how to use files, go ahead and join me on my Again, next I hope video. you enjoyed that video. If you have questions or comments, leave them below, but make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I love new followers. I try to release videos as soon as I can, but if you have suggestions, again, leave them below. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. Ciao.